Welcome back to That's Debatable. Today's debate, powered by Cisco's WebEx, is all about marking balls on the green, poker chip or ball marker. We've got Josh Burhau, a Vikings fan, going up against Jonathan Wall, a Cowboys fan. Now, both of you, when it comes to the NFL debate, are both wrong. It's all about the Packers, but this is all about golf. Yeah. Jonathan, you are the higher seed. Would you like to go first or second? I'll go first. Why not? All right, let's hear it. 60 seconds. You know, I thought about bringing a poker chip on here and using this guy right here <laughs> to burn it in defiance. Then I remembered I don't owe, own one of these abominations. Here's the deal with the poker chip, unfortunate as it is. Whoever was dumb enough to think up that a poker chip would be good to be marked for your golf ball, uh, they deserve to be excommunicated from golf. For starters, they are the size of a manhole cover. And anytime you play with somebody that has one, you've got to have them move it over about six spots, not two, six, just to make sure it's out of your way. And oh, by the way, if they happen to mark before you and you're chipping from off the green, oh, sorry, man, I'm sorry that your shot that was going to go in the hole missed because it hit a house on the way there. The poker chip is the yellow Hummer H2 of ball markers. It is tacky, it is pointless, and it has no place on the golf course. Wow. But here's the deal. It can have a place in your golf collection. Just please don't bring one of these things to the golf course. It is going to ruin your playing partner's round. All right. You have summed it up pretty well. Josh Burhau, you're an avid poker chip collector. I am. You know, uh, harsh words from Mr. Wall there, but, you know, it's funny. Is I think poker chips, poker chip ball markers get a bad rap, a lot like the fanny pack a lot like pimento cheese sandwiches, a lot like those golf club brushes that attach to your golf bag. You know, I feel like that's all really good stuff that we have in the golf world that people just, you know, don't give the love that's due. And what's the big deal anyway? Yeah, they're big. I get it. They're, they're new and something in a sport that's super old, but the sport evolves. Like, Jonathan Wall, are you still using hickory shafted clubs and a one iron that looks like a butter knife? Like, I could be. Equipment evolves, right? Courses evolve. Golf fashion evolves. So golf accessories evolve. So why can't we just embrace the poker chip and just love it? I mean, it's a conversation piece. It's fun. It tells a story. It's where you've been. You know, you know who I don't like? I don't like the people that use the fluorescent markers, the little tax, a penny, a quarter, a dime. Like, give me, some, give me a story. Give me some personality. You know, I want some character there, all right? So, you know, when you're playing with someone, you go, oh, cool, that's a cool marker. And then you have a conversation starter, and that's why you meet people. And that's why golf is so great, okay? The, uh, the, only, so Josh, the, only conversation, the only conversation starter you're getting with one of those poker chips is a face-to-face -face confrontation with your playing partner on the 18th hole with them wanting to beat the crap out of you. It's so, this guy right here, a dime, a penny, or even one of these that fits flush into the ground so it doesn't ruin your playing partner's Yeah, you see, golf, golf is a four-and-a-half, five-hour round as is, right? I mean, is it really that much of an inconvenience to be like, excuse me, Sean, can you move your poker chip marker, of, you know, a couple, like a putter length to the left, a putter length to the right? Like, what does that take? 12, 12 seconds? Oh, I'm sorry, you're not going to play under four and a half hours today, all right? It's going to be more than one. It's probably going to be at least two to three, given the same size. <laughs> There we go. Right there. You just proved my point. That sounded like a bunch of bricks falling on the ground. See, this and that is was probably what, about, like four or five? Four or five poker chips right there? I mean, it couldn't have been that many. Yeah, like 20. But see, look at that little clank. It's a symphony, all right? You can't get that from anything else. Just like, you're, just like your iron's like clanking in your bag as you're walking down the fairway, you know that? It's also That's as thick as a sandwich. All right, all right, all right. Both of you done great. Both of you were very close. I gotta say, I don't know if I totally agree with poker chips as a symphony, Josh. <laughs> and for that, I'm gonna go with John Wall. We'll move on, the man of the ball markers in That's Debatable, powered by Cisco's WebEx.